Hey there, what's up? Uh, so <laughs> this is my first time ever doing the 13, uh, 13th week and iRacing stuff. Uh, so I've, I've, it, it, this has been a complete crap show already. Uh, so basically this is uh, the dirt rallycross track, but in a Miata or MX-5 and or and or the 1600 or the formula 1600 uh thus far total crap shit. like i, I <laughs> you can't keep the car and under under any kind of i'm, I'm driving the miata of, of, just to say and uh thus far it's been just insane because i can't keep the car straight nobody else can keep the car straight I'm gonna guess we're all gonna go into this race and just be like, wow. Uh, I, I would assume any any wreck that happens is not by anyone's fault. So uh, strap in and let's see how this goes. So yeah, like I was saying there in the intro, uh, I expect this to be a complete crap show. I'm surprised anybody bothered to qualify, honestly. Like I skipped it right away because it doesn't matter. Like we're all gonna wreck the moment this turns into dirt. I cannot explain to you the lack of traction as soon as you hit the dirt. Like, it, you just, it's straight ice. Like, it's unbelievable. That being said, in the practice before the race, I was fastest. I may have been one of two guys that could make it around the entire track. Uh, what's going to happen here, we'll see. Because I have P3, 10 laps. Okay, Clint, let's get this right. No fuck ups. Let's go. A terrible start, okay. We're already wrecking in on the asphalt. That's that's the worst part is when you you do grip and you're on as as soon as you went from dirt to asphalt. <laughs> Come on, your inclination is to hit the gas hard and just go, but. It just, ah, oh God. This is awful. If you think so you... Does this should affect my uh, security? No, this is all, uh, just for fun. Fuck. Good team. The leader has just done a 53.32. Car there. I was doing better than this in practice. I don't like just. Uh, I feel like I could hit the gas a little bit more than this.
blue flag. This is a blue flag. Oh, I gotta move over because there's a guy coming for me. Bob Ross just sent it into the wall. It is. Let him go around. I I don't know how they're. Yeah. Like you, there's back ends coming around, or you can't get the front end turn. Did I have any control over where I'm at on this track? <laughs> Go on, Joker. Okay, Clint. The next car is Teixeira. Blue flag. Okay, I hope that was my Joker lap out of the way. Keep sucking, that's what the crew chief is saying. Keep sucking, you're sucking a little less. <laughs> as soon as you hit that dirt, you're wham! I don't know if the clutch would be as useful. As the gas? I don't know, man. Push, 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 or we'll lose this place. Lose what place? Oh my goodness. This is killing me. Like my foot hurts from trying to not go full throttle. Two 
to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Clint, there's a faster class car approaching. Keep it together, oh, we'll be on the podium. Oh. Sector 1 is 7.4 seconds. Off the pace. Sector 2 is 5.8. Off the pace. Sector 3 is 1.5. Off the pace. <laughs> Don't care today! <laughs> Great drive, that's a podium. That's a podium. Uh, well, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that was my first 13th week at iRacing. That was interesting. That was, uh, it was interesting. Uh, not something I would do again in that particular car at that particular race, nor yeah, I just would. Uh, it was fun, but I. Yeah, I'm. I'm good. Otherwise, I was really pushing it there at the end, and I had a solid four lap lead on the third place in my class, fella. I uh, ended up seventh overall out of twelve. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.